so this is a segment from, I believe it's uh, Sam Tripoli and his podcast that he has. And as uh, seems to be the trend <laughs> a lot of times with these uh, some of these podcasts, uh, before they even release the podcast, like uh, people are watching it and then catch clips and then put that up, and that's uh, that's what this is. So, because I saw this and I, I I wanted to get the whole video of it, and uh, it it was not up yet, evidently. So yeah, this is uh, <laughs> Eddie Bravo and Alex Jones right there. Edgy bra. Keep it edgy bra. Which it, it just it just depends, <laughs> you know, what they're talking about, uh, the, the the modes that they're in, and and I mean that's just how it is with everyone, and it it depends what they're engaging. And this this camera cannot decide which light setting to go to, which is something I'll mention real quick. Oh yeah, is that uh tonight, especially the uh, the street lights, the street lamps. As I was driving driving by them, like they were constantly turning on and off right when I passed. Interesting, because I mean that that happens anyways, but like not to the degree that it happened tonight, which was also interesting because uh, Mr. Don Cheadle put up his fucking video, <sighs> putting his hand up to his to his uh, light fixture and having it going on and off. Yep. So, uh, I'll play some of this here. I'll also kind of preface that it doesn't matter, like, who the person is, or and especially who you think they are. What matters most is the information being presented and the validity of that. Whenever it's held, held on the scales, and you can really peer into it with an objectivity and a perspective of where you're not attached to any kind of outcome, you're just in it to see it for what it is. And that's where I come from whenever I watch anything. I just want to see it for what it is. Yeah, maybe like the people may rub me the wrong way or I don't even like the person or necessarily agree with the person most of the time. But if they put something out that is legit and it holds up to what is real and true and can be experienced by anyone and everyone who engages with direct experience and not with the bullshit scripts that have been led to believe. And it's kind of, it's like the saying, like, don't shoot the messenger. Like, if the information is legit, then it doesn't matter who's presenting it. matters is how it makes you not even necessarily feel because a lot of times you know people are so fucking indoctr indoctrinated to the gills that uh truth is going to make them feel uh very agitated and insecure and unstable that's for for, for very good reason is because it truth shakes up bullshit But, you know, most likely, more likely than not, people tend to 
criminalize and, and cast shame upon the messenger instead of diving inside and realizing, investigating for themselves different pathways and methods and modalities and ways of experiencing and being and learning and knowing through gnosis. So yeah, we'll get into some of this here real quick. And maybe I'll talk a little bit about it. Because, uh, especially the first part, what what he's talking about, he's dead on. And this isn't coming from me, like just me. This is coming from uh, capital, you know, me, the self, as in like this. This is what has been happening, but he's he's kind of like just spitting it out so fucking quick and fast that that it's, it's easy to look over. It's easy to be like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like you're crazy." Especially if you don't have any kind of a understanding of any of this stuff it's just like what the fuck is this obviously this guy's crazy obviously the media is right this guy needs to be censored so yeah and also oh shit i need to find my fucking remote there's a there's a part in here where they where they just fucking blow up so uh and get super loud so hopefully i catch that part I don't blow your guys' ear comes out. I talk to you real quick about who runs America. Who do you think runs America right now? If you had to go, like, who is in charge? Who is calling the shots right now? Here's who runs it. It's powerful interlocking families. They have what they call Royal Roundtable Groups. The British set these up. The Royal Institute of International And this guy's just fucking spitting so goddamn fast. Which which is, which is fucking fine. It's just you got to be able to connect the dots for people, or you know, it's just whatever the fuck you want. If you want to just fucking spit it out and let people uh, who are waking up connect it for themselves, like that, that's fucking all good and well. But he said the royal royal round table and and the British started it uh, uh, with with that imagery of the like you know the the so called round table. It's attached to the British, but um, everything in uh, this current uh, cycle that we're in stems from Egypt. Every, everything does. That's that's where it began. So uh, the whole monetary structure and system and ideology of it. Uh, st and, and once again, I'm talking about this cycle that we're in because it this is a, this whole uh, slavery thing. Started with the, you could say, quote unquote, original sin, which happened uh, many, many cycles ago. When I say cycle, I mean resets. Which is what we have been uh, moving in it further and away from. Uh, because but we, we were already supposed to have a reset. And that just keeps being uh, extended to the point where it's going to happen in such a fashion that enough people have become privy to it that you know I truthfully I, I don't know how it's going to manifest but I, I do know that you can only hold the we can only hold the broken bridge for so long before it collapses. And that's kind of like the time period that we're in right now. You can only uh, repair the corrupted dam before the waters just break through completely. <clears throat> so sometime here, I, I will... Uh, read, probably read, the story of um, when the monetary system began, which is when, when, 
well, with this, once again, with the cycle, and this is when uh, true slavery began with this cycle. So that you can start to tr truly understand and understand um, that your feelings about money and that maybe you don't feel quite right. Something doesn't feel quite right about the concept of money. Uh, the, those feelings are, are, are accurate. Even if you can't quite, you haven't quite uh, connected the dots yet to, to really understand, overstand why. I definitely agree, and this is this is uh, the beauty, not not the beauty of it, but uh, it it has been a masterful plan and setup here to distract us from what is real and what we can engage with and to encapsulate that into something that doesn't have any kind of a value or meaning when it comes to day-to-day -day living and, and experiencing and engaging with nature and life and the flow. And that's what money is. It's an um, intermediate between you and the all that is. Between you and nature. Or if you want to use the term God, or if you want to use the term divine intellect, or whatever, universal mind, whatever terminology you want to use here. This is the main agenda, is to disconnect that innate ability and, and connection that of who we are, to, cu to cut our roots down, to corrupt them, and have us believe their story, instead of going out and living our story, experiencing it for ourselves, and connecting the dots for ourselves. Bears, I became a CFR here, they have their own councils in Europe, and the same 20 or 30 guys uh, all then sit on the boards of Bilderberg, CFR, Trilateral Commission, and then they put out policies that all the other corporations and banks have to follow, or they get broken up, they get attacked. So there's a... And yes, this is accurate. Absolutely, this is accurate. But... what, And this is what... people are, are being allowed to kind of uh, see on, on some levels are the uh, the you could say like what fifth or sixth tier of the pyramid of the people that it seems to be that they are running the show but really they are just uh, the puppets being controlled by the the ones that are really on on top on the capstone of the pyramid. The global corporate mafia that are mainly scientific dictators who see themselves as technocrats who want to bring in a one-world government where they track everything you do yes. to then control the population yes. and bring in this, this future tyranny to be a post-human world uh, where they eliminate all humans. They believe their God Lucifer tells them that... Oh. Yeah, he's spitting it out there. Um... Hmm. He said technocratic, and this is probably the uh, one of one of the huge little key points, <laughs> little big points in this whole thing it is to uh, shed light on the the vision, the imagery of where these. Uh, The, the people that seemingly run the show, 
but really are being controlled by uh, the capstone few, say five people, priests, and really they are even being controlled by other other energies. And uh, I'm not gonna say what because it's it's just gonna sound uh, unbelievable. So it doesn't. Right now, it doesn't necessarily matter in this context right here and right now. But, uh, like I've said before, the, the weakest among us have become the strongest because of what they have been allowed to become privy to. And that's, 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 uh, pretty much the sum of it. So now, uh, certain certain people <coughs> who are uh, going beyond them uh, have to not only take in all of the energies, all of the essences, all of the pain, uh, also beauty and glory and grace, all of the sin, if you want to call it that. All the uh, negatively engaged aspects of all that we are. We are alchemizing and transmuting all this and coming to the realization that if we quote unquote serve justice or give them what they have coming to them or whatever this is just going to repeat the cycle over and over this is why this keeps repeating So as you're as you're waking up, just keep in mind that there are so many layers and levels, and whenever you think that you have you know a piece of the puzzle, just try to keep in mind that that is just a piece of the puzzle, and that we are operating within a pyramid scheme. This whole structure and system that we are in right now is a pyramid scheme. It's a trick. And the capstone is exactly like the capstone de Giza. It's not really there. It's not the true capstone. Like, we, everyone can see it, and they think it's the actual capstone, but no, that's not... You can't really see or know it, because it's it's not there. And this is this is exactly how it is right now. You think you think you start to understand the power structure and the the people and and you know the certain individuals, the Rothschilds and the Bilderbergs and the people that you know seem to be in control of the money. No, this is these are very much like representatives, or you could say, you could even call them presidents because that's what a puppet is. Kill everyone after the world government's established, and then they will merge with silicon and become a god. You yeah. have to merge with this. I'm pretty sure this is <laughs> blows up. Uh, where's the mute button? That is not the mute button. God damn it.
Uh, that's uh, very representative of the times right now <laughs> that I've been experiencing. Oh my god. Good. God, that it comes and collects different civilizations, and, and the head of the Illuminati at the time was Arthur C. Clarke. So he wrote Childhood's End, that's an allegory for the actual plan, transmitted to them interdimensionally by Lucifer. Now, when you. For people thinking, people might think you're nuts, but Cut it. I'm, I'm gonna back you up. Cut it. Um, Albert Pike wrote the Freemason Bible, right? Oh, has anyone ever seen anyone? Let me fucking finish. Let me finish this. Let me finish this. Oh, oh, God. God. Um, Albert Pike wrote the Freemason Bible, right? Like 1870s or something like that. Correct. Right after Civil War, right? And in there, uh, it's, he says that Lucifer is uh, the Freemason God. Lucifer right? is God. Now, you might think, have, have, has anybody read that? Have you seen it? Well, we had Pat Militich, who's a former UFC fighter. He's in the Hall of Fame. He was on the show. He was on the show. And I heard he was Freemason. So I asked him. I said, uh, you're Freemason, right? He goes, yes. And then I asked him, uh, do you know who Albert Pike is? He goes, of course. And, and I go, do you know it? In the Bible, the... Freemason Bible he wrote, he said that y'all's God is Lucifer. Now, the correct answer would have been, that's bullshit. That's taken out of context. That would have been the correct answer, but he didn't say that. He said, oh, Lucifer means light. And then from that point on, I shut the fuck up, and I'm like, oh, shit, I don't want to talk about this Can no I just more. say something? So, yeah, sorry about that. Fuck. Um... Also, like, uh, the Pat Militich episode, I think that was on, he didn't, uh, Eddie didn't mention, no, that was on Sam Tripoli's podcast, um, it was either Sam Tripoli or Joe Rogan, pretty sure it was Sam Tripoli, uh, that, that was interesting, uh, especially if you want to get to know who, uh, Pat Militich is a little bit, uh, deeper than, uh, what you may have known about him. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, Pat Miller seems like a uh, pretty fucking awesome human being. Uh, unfortunately, he's probably caught up in some things that he's uh, in over his head with. So, uh, what Eddie was basically kind of accentuating there is... Oh shit, he's into the, some, some really deep shit where he, he thinks, you know good is evil, and evil is good, and that's kind of the design of, of this whole fucking shit, is, is to mix up our uh, understandings, our understandings uh, of what is what, what is reality, what is real. More and more and more, if you haven't noticed, like, to, to just mix up every little fucking thing that can be observed, like, Fucking forget science and scientism and the scientific method, which, you know, is just observing. Fucking observe your reality. Experiment for yourself and find out for yourself. That shouldn't be that fucking hard or convoluted. But the whole fucking system and, and the design of it, what it's propagated to now is just to confuse, uh, especially the youth, the very young uh just just on the very most simplest things. Of what they can observe observe for themselves. But he said uh Lucifer is light and, and this is like you're gonna come across that like at your very fucking beginnings whenever you start to research like what what certain words mean like etymology of certain words uh different meanings different understandings so for pat millage's militage to say that just just shows that he's on a very very low level of uh understanding of the hierarchy of what he's involved with he's involved with the more community aspect which is basically how they hook you with all this religious dogmatic shit is they get as much people as they can hooked on it and then 
oh, you form a community. I'm not, I'm not bashing community at all. It's important to have a strong community that is and knows their their true roots and their foundations are strong. But unfortunately, like if you see that in today's world, it, it's going to be uh, headed up, up by some kind of a strong belief system of, uh, you know, probably a, of a religious background. So yeah, this is just a perfect representation here of, you know, you people get in over their heads, they get, they get caught up, They're, they test the waters and are waiting uh, for certain triggers to happen. And once those triggers happen, they immediately jump to a conclusion that, oh shit, which is just basically what, what Eddie just described right there, instead of being like, So that's that's very like uh, initiatory level stuff and understanding of, of of all of this kind of stuff. And here, what uh, Sam says here, I think it's right here, is uh, exactly what the fuck, kind of what I just said, but exactly what's fucking going on. Yeah. So, I mean, if you do some studying a long time ago, there's been a demonization of Mother Earth, which is like, what's the Antichrist? If Christ is God in heaven, the opposite of that is a woman on Earth. It's Mother Earth. There's been a demonization of fucking connecting with you around you. There has been this take, which is... So Lucifer's cool. No, what I'm saying is that the like black Eddie. tube of Saturn is probably the real dark arts, but, you know, you have... Oh, the Kaaba, the one... Yeah, which all that. That's the dark arts, and what they do is they take... What is really that, and they associate it with something okay, else. Okay, let me break this down. Okay. The Bible. That's, that's exactly it. And, and like I said in my previous one, it's, it's layers upon layers, webs upon webs. There's so many games at play, and levels and layers to it. That once you become privy to one, like... There's so many more operating, like, above and below that one, that it doesn't even matter. Unless you dissolve all of your illusions and barriers and belief structures. Yeah, that's that's accurate um, on certain levels. Um, the origins are not accurate because the origins start with the ones at the tippy top who who have already been doing this, who have already been able to access uh, beyond time and realize the uh, what kind of end game that they want, and what kind of outcome they want to happen, and. Uh, What will 
allow them to do that, siding with certain energies, essentially like what he was talking about. But in so doing, those energies manipulate these, even the people truly running the show into bringing about an outcome that the priest thought they wanted, but in actuality it was what these energies wanted. And that may sound crazy and, and definitely probably won't make any fucking sense, but uh, hopefully I shed some more light upon that and bring more clarity to it. See, I don't think you got to the prayer yet. What I want to talk about? Interdimensional. I'm How not they... lizard people. That's David Icke like says all that. Do you believe I'm not that? that? I'm not taking a listen to just. I've never seen <laughs> stuff. I'm like an anthropologist, okay. or a sociologist, okay. or a historian, or an archaeologist telling you the religion of the establishment. None of them are Dark arts. They are. They are trying to contact interdimensional beings to get knowledge, and the beings give them advanced knowledge that they can then farm out and then have us build. Okay, because humans are builders. I don't think these dark entities even came up with this. They've seen it before. There's been other worlds, obviously. So they're trying to repeat something they've done before. They give the basic vague breakdown. We then build it as, as, as the real alchemists. We're more advanced than these dark creatures. And oh my gosh, there's just so much that he spit out there that's uh, not quite right, but I can <laughs> like in in a vague and general sense, like that's that's what the fuck's going been going on. So that's why it's hard for, for people to, to not shoot the messengers because they can't uh, dissect and uh, discern for themselves. We have been taught to that we have been taught to be given information and to accept it. And if we want to do a little bit of research, it's, it's research that where people give us more information. And then we cite that information with with other information, where where they ever, different different kinds of people have given us information, and then we, we kind of form our own uh, decision from that. But that's it's just what we've been given. What about what you can experience for yourself? What about tasting the pudding for yourself? So yeah, he calls these things beings, but it's uh, it's essences. It's certain uh, you could say archetypes or modes. Uh, you could even say spheres of beingness. A distinct aspect of the totality of you know, of what we are. Just just one little aspect of it. And the whispers and the suggestions slowly making their way in to where finally it reaches a human that has become weakened enough to act upon these things. Establishment are a bunch of soulless people yeah. that have sold their Psycho. soul for psychopaths, sociopaths, maybe it's genetic. They could be black, they could be Asian, they could be Jewish. 
Jewish, they can be German, there they can be go. Native American. It doesn't matter. They're people that resonate with the darkness, and these entities like Avatar can literally just jack into their bodies at a certain point and control them. So they do rituals to kill kids, to divorce themselves from God, or they do other rituals to poison people in mass, or knowingly ship out factory blood. Poison. This is part of a trauma, and it happens on several different yeah. levels. Uh, so, I mean, mass trauma equals... A mass indoctrination and ability to provide certain suggestions and ideologies and belief structures to where, oh, the traumatized people or masses are given, you know, certain options, and, oh, if we believe this and go along with this, then, you know, we'll have some com some level of comfort, and, you know, what may be deemed a sustainability, or, you know, ability to actually live, and not be, uh, just raped and murdered, and in slavery and bondage, okay, let's go along with this, but it's, it's a soft, it's like soft porn. It's it's a soft core. It's a soft corruption. That's what I meant when I said soft porn. I'm not talking about going down that fucking route. Uh, just soft corruption. It's a soft... Oh yeah, you're really free, but you know, you're still under our control and system, so... You basically, we just dissolved the, the cages that you're in. We made you think that the boxes that you think are your houses are really your, your quote-unquote homes. And that you own them. But really, we, we own them. We own all of it. And thus, we own you. And as a matter of fact, as soon as you come into the world, we, we slap paperwork on you and create a fictionary secondary identity to you and we own that and we will trick you to believing that you are actually that is actually you and you will become a slave that thinks it's free welcome to the new world And like I was saying, like, that's not inaccurate, but it's not quite accurate. Like, like the, the effects there are still, that is what is happening. But, but the causalities, the reasonings is not quite accurate. But that's, but, that, but that's what's going on. And I mean, all you got to do is fucking open your goddamn eye to the reality of the situation around you. And you can see for yourself what's been going on. Instead of going along with what the professionals tell you. Oh, they know better because they've studied it. They've, they're educated. Well, okay. Well, y you can just remain a dumbed down, uneducated person. Then, and just go along with, you know, what, what, you, what you've been told and what you've been fed. What you've been led to believe uh, is... is right and fair and truth and oh some people may say it's all mixed around and backwards and but don't believe them even if they're telling you to look into it for yourself they're just saying that so, because they want to trick you just keep your head in the sand and go along with, you know, what everyone else is doing, and you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You, you'll be able to escape the pain of, of waking up, and, you know, 
you'll you'll have a whole support system around you of everyone going along with the same thing. So you won't be lonely. There'll be plenty of plenty of them around. You can even potentially have you know. No, I won't say that. Cause that, that that's just a small fucking factor to play into it. Let's see how much more I'll play of this. That's why they do these horrible things is to lower their energy wave so these things can come into the lower plane. It's kind of like uh, you know, uh, Stranger Things, where it's upside it's down. It's Stranger Things. It's, it's upside down. Yes. World. You understand? Yes. It. That's why everything's upside down. Everything's inverted. So let me ask yeah, you something, that's, man. That's so you pretty much multiple it. multiple dimensions and all that stuff. Do you, does that contrast with your fucking Christian faith? Well, check this out. Let, <laughs> Let's see how much more of this. This is getting long enough. When you were on Joe Rogan's podcast, um, a lot of people were, were uh, uh, tripping out and basically um, um, losing credibility for you when you start talking about interdimensional beings and aliens. But you could you could go on YouTube and watch scientists from CERN talking in front of a bunch of people at CERN talking about how they they figured out how to. Get into, they figured out that there's uh, a whole shitload of dimensions and parallel universes, and they overlap, and they think they can reach into the shadows of these other dimensions and pull things out. They're talking about the shit he's talking about. Oh, and sure. sir, they're talking about this. Oh, sir, so did so what's that crazy? From Tesla. He went on to the exact. They did a supercut of these two guys talking. Pretty much the same you know. exact. Thing. Yeah. So the, my, my, I'm, I'm backing you up. So when people think, us, when yeah. people think that. You know, they make like memes and shit out of all the, shit, the crazy shit you're talking about, inter, interdimensional beings and aliens and demons. But that's what they're talking about at CERN. The top scientists are talking about that shit. Well, Eddie, that's exactly it. Why can't you... Yeah, probably end it there. Uh, and then also Eddie goes on and it's like, they're probably just making this shit up so that they can get the fucking money flow in. And that's absolutely like... You know, the figureheads that they put out there, the spokespeople that they put out there to to uh, go out and collect the information, to go out and collect the attention that brings in the money and the awareness, the energy. They have attached the monetary system with the energetic system of the human body, and that is a corruption. Like, you can, it doesn't matter how, how you want to view money, because yes, like, you can utilize any kind of a tool for any kind of a certain way. It doesn't automatically mean that it's inherently bad or, or whatever. But the design here uh, of, of the monetary system... The, the origins of it. Like, this this is the fucking reason for it. They get people caught up in seeking that instead of, instead of seeking the truth of just going out and experiencing for themselves. Realizing that everything that you have ever, that you will ever need, you will ever want, is already, has already been provided. We've just forgot. We just forgot the fuck. We've been led to believe that we need other things, that we need certain securities and uh, safe nets instead of just going out and living in nature, taking our fucking shoes off, taking our fucking clothes off, soaking up the sun, bathing in pure waters, growing our own foods, making connections with those foods, building our own different, all kinds of different layers and levels of homesteads. Realizing how much the natural surroundings will shelter you. And it will be a, sh a living shelter that always provides for you. Anything and everything. For not just your body. All of your bodies.
the disconnection of our origins, of what we can go out and experience for ourselves. The, the witch hunt of, of people who have done this for themselves and want to share the message of, hey, like, this whole fucking shit is fucked up and ass backwards. Uh, you can just go out in nature and everything's fucking provided for you. What the fuck are you people doing? Well... Right now, we're in a time where we can actually say this and not be immediately fucking hunted down. It was not not so easy to say these things in the past. In the not so distant past. So number one, engage the raw isness of the beingness of that of which you are. You don't need anything else to do this. Just you and silence and allow the true essence of what you are to present itself to you. Allow yourself to present yourself to you within the fucking silence. Engage it. Then go out in nature and do this. Experience that you are connected to every living thing all around you. You are intimately connected to all of it. Start to educate yourself about all the different plants around you. All the different healing effects. All the different things that you can do with everything. All the plants around you. All the creations that you can make from these things that have been provided to you freely. Then start to take a look at the system that we've been brought up in and how ass backwards it is. And then start to start start to ask heartfelt, genuine questions of of why. Why is it the way it is? Then start to seek for yourself. Yes, that there will be people who have, who have done the same or similar kinds of seeking and you, we can learn from each other and this is very important but we have to be able to discern where either people are regurgitating what they've been told or they have a certain agenda or they've only gone so far down the path of truth and then they caved and they went along with the fucking script and there are so many of those fucking people. And it's, and it's, it is difficult sometimes to detach, especially after you've developed, you know, certain friendships with people and you have to just realize, like, they are, they are caught up in the exoterics of our reality and they have given up researching for themselves the esoterics of it. Continue to do your deep diving inner work and the more you do this the clearer what you think is outside of you will become the answers will find their way to you. To the questions that you didn't even know you yet had. That you have yet to ask. Asking these questions with a certain kind of intent, impurity... in seeking truth. The universe, whatever you want to call it, the divine intellect, the divine mind of God, of the all that is, 
always, in always, responds to, in every moment to every little thought that you have, that every little energy and emotion that you have, it responds immediately to you. The only problem, the only problem that we may come that we may face plan into are the walls that we've set up that we have been led to believe are there between us and the all that is and this is why there are so many different kinds of systems set up in our world monetary systems belief systems religious systems dogmatic systems scientific uh scientism systems to have the answers already right there for you oh it's already right here. You don't need to, you know, search for yourself. We we've, we've already done the research. It's right here for you. To each their own. If you wish to go down that path, well, you you're going down a path that's a dead end road, and your line, or your awareness, or your essence, or your kin, will not continue. They will immediately be sucked into this, and become another cog in that wheel. If you want your kin to be everlasting, you have to reintegrate back into the truth, the inner and outer nature. Re-engage it. Remember what has always been there. Waiting for you to wake up to.